Chelsea fans going off in the stands. Curtis McGrath off to a strong start. And Paul's away. What a performance this is now. Going away from the nearest rival to take the Curtis McGrath. New star. World champion. And now a Paralympic gold medal. the sort of frame of mind to be like guys guys I'll be fine don't worry about it I'll just you know go along to the Paralympics and I wouldn't say that was a goal or, or actually looking forward to the future it was just trying to make them feel a little bit better without the situation and and get them to feel um as though there's hope um for me and and what had happened and you know th these are the, the first responders on the scene of someone who's just traumatically uh lost their legs and you know there's a lot of blood and gore and I felt like my training had not, not sort of prepared me for it, but it, it enabled me to see it as, as sort of a out of perspective um, or out of someone else's perspective. And then again, like looking at myself in that situation, I, I, I was getting carried on the stretcher and getting bundled along and, and you know, I, I could see the guys around me were struggling. Um, there was a few guys crying as they kind of stretcher and stuff, but that, uh, that trauma was not just my trauma, it was their trauma too. And I think that's really important to remember, you know, one person gets injured, but there's so many people that it affects and I could see that. And if I could say something to help them feel better, I was going to do it. And that's, that's why I said what I said. And, and who knows that that probably planted the, the seed of, of where I'm on my journey now and, and what I have been doing for the last seven years. So that's something that you know, I look back on and, you know, I'm, I'm proud of that moment. And my wounds were taken care of really well from the get-go and my surgery was done very well. And the recovery process was, had its tricky parts. And I, and I say had its tricky parts because, you know, I, I had a few little infections and things like that. The, the skin grafting was, that was a really frustrating part because it just didn't feel like it was getting any better. And um, plastic surgeon came in and was like trying different things and finally, we found a solution. Looking, you know, further along than that, you know, the physio I think was was something that was really important, and it, it really set my my recovery up really well. They made sure that I had everything in my room that I needed to do physio pretty much all day. So it was something that I'm, I'm super grateful for, and um, you know, they were allowing me to to have a, a session of physio a day, but outside of that I could do as much as I want so at the start I was doing four or five minutes getting my balance you know sitting and building some core muscles and it was something that kept my mind straight and, and kept me focused and then by the time I was leaving hospital um, I was doing like eight or nine hours a day just because there's not much to do in a hospital so um, yeah just threw myself at it. I'm um, also you know there's a lot of people around me that supported me in that my, my wife my girlfriend then but my wife now and uh, my family and having them all around me, my friends coming to see me was really nice to keep me sort of um, socially connected. Um, another thing that amazingly happened was um, my CO from my unit would come and visit me every couple of days and keeping me in the loop was a really nice touch and it was really awesome to be able to feel still connected to my comrades and team over in Afghanistan because they still had that job to do, you know. I knew that I had to be nice and strong for my prosthetics and, and that's what I was building towards and giving me that goal. and. I decided that I'd be up walking for when the guys got home from Afghanistan. The prosthetics weren't as easy as just throw them on like a new pair of shoes and, and stand up and walk away. It was a lot of balancing, a lot of sort of techniques about falling over and getting back up. Pushed myself really hard and and, um, and that's, that's what I achieved. I um, picked up the paddle in 2014 and I won my first world championships in that first year and and was like man and like this this is my sport this is my jam I can do this thankfully got a selection into the, the sprint kayak and, and then I went on to um, uh, the Rio gold medal and and that was something that you know I'm super proud of and a couple of them came over to Rio and watched me there and that was really cool because they didn't tell me they just sent me a photo late one night I woke up in the morning there was a photo on, on my phone um, with them at the airport saying we, we wouldn't miss this so uh, it was really cool and, and like I said laying on that stretcher and saying what I said to make it to the Paralympics was the first goal and, and then getting a, a silver medal at, at the qualifying event I was like well like man the next the next step's the top so 
I was going to aim for that and, and, and went for it and, and it all came to, together and, and that was just a culmination of all the support, everyone, like, as I've said, like just the support for me to get to that moment was all, all partly there.